hey, I'm going to look at the way I worked out how to deploy uh, new devices. So uh, tricky bit was provisioning a new device. I didn't want to spend too long on it. Um, so you have to do all the things I showed in the development blog of reflashing it, getting MicroPython on there, and then getting the probe code on. Uh, the kind of devices that I do that to is, for example, this one here from Hi Let Go, uh, which just has Wi-Fi connectivity. And then the other ones I've used is this one, uh, the Olimax uh, ESP32 gateway, which has the addition of a Ethernet connector. I actually found this one's working better for uh, for getting uh, accurate ping times. Um, but I'm going to walk through for this. It's a little simpler. It works exactly the same way as doing it for the uh, the gateway. Uh, the only difference is the config file. Okay, for provisioning a new device. So first I go over to the help menu and under here we have a section called device setup. And the first thing we need to do is pull down the device setup.zip. So I'll pull that down. And that, as it says, contains all the files need to provision a new ESP32 device. So let me open that up. Inside that zip file is a top level folder called Our Probes Device Maker. I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to put it in my our temp folder just so I can find it. It's only used temporarily. Now I'm going to open up the Our Probes Device Maker folder and I'm going to grab the path to the to that uh, folder and I'll just bring up a command window here and I'm going to change directory up to that location. Next thing I need to do, so under probe uh, there's the config pi file. Uh, if we have a quick look at that with notepad we see it has uh, Wi-Fi configuration information, device configuration information, and the private uh, key token. Uh, we want a better copy of that, so let's log in this time. Now I'm setting it up for device three, which I've already set up in the in the system. So if I go into device three. And you see there's this option here, generate and download uh, config pi for this device. I'm going to do that. I'll keep it. So I'm going to get that and update the config pi that was there. The only other thing I need to do is go to our next folder up again, our probes device maker. I'll have a look in this bat file. Uh, if I again open that with notepad, uh, you see it's it's got the port that it uses. Uh, that's where it's looking to find the ESP32 device. Um, I'm just going to check that that's where the ESP35 two devices. I'm going to type in mode and it tells me that there's a, the device is on COM3. Um, uh, what the barred rate is. So COM3 is good uh, but your device may be on a different uh, COM port. So all that's done. Now I just need to now I just need to run the, the bat file. So let's uh, Go into that directory again. And the name of the bat file is device deploy. So let's type in device deploy. And what this does, first it uh, expects you to have uh, Python 3 on your machine. So it does some pip installs of R shell and, and the ESP tool utilities, then it uses the ESP tool utilities first to flash that device, so it uh, clears the flash memory, and then the next thing it does is install MicroPython uh, 
from our bin file that uh, was included with the provisioning files. So you see through it's going through installing those uh, and then it's going to fire up our shell. So we'll just let this install go through of MicroPython. So now our shell's connecting in and then it's running the commands in shellactions.txt which includes doing an rsync on all the uh, Python files that needs to get over to the micro to the ESP32 board which it's doing at the moment. Uh, this can take a little while, I think it takes two or three minutes to run through this. Now it's rebooting Okay, so it's got the Java web token. Okay, it's getting its first measurement. So it looks like it's all working now. So uh, it has to have been a valid uh, device to be able to talk to the uh, MQ via MQTT to the back end IoT. Uh, service out of Google so it's got all the configuration information it started to do its its bings by the look of it so we're in good shape the device was all configured I can just leave it alone uh, if I power it on and off it should start up again